Hi, I'm Leica, one of the curators here at the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao. And while we have this gallery to ourselves, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about one of the works from the permanent collection that I'm really fond of and think is really interesting. It's right behind me. It is called 150 Maryland, Multicolored Marylands by Andy Warhol from the year 1979. Now, it would be really difficult to name an artist more known and influential than Andy Warhol. He experimented in pretty much every art form that we can imagine from his early days as an illustrator to his later work with sculpture, music, TV, fashion, wallpaper, and of course the things that he's known most for, which are photography, film, and painting. Warhol was an excellent draftsman, but one of the things that really interested him was the idea of reproduction. And so in 1962, he began experimenting with the silkscreen, which at that time was not accepted or recognized as sort of an art medium. In working with the silkscreen, he started to explore different uh, sources of material that were just around him, uh, things that were very we might say banal, just part of daily life, things from newspapers, from commercial advertising, publicity stills, which we see here. And these themes, which were very much a part of just everyday life, uh, really uh, resulted in sort of this democratization of his art. People could become interested, they could uh, appreciate his work without having to know anything about art or art history. So this theme of celebrity, which we see here, is one of the things that Warhol is really known for. In 1962, when he began experimenting with silkscreen, he also began working with the image of Marilyn Monroe. That, unfortunately, was also the year of her death. He created a number of different works with Monroe's face, sometimes uh, works that were just uh, one of her image, sometimes a diptych, and other times grids with uh, many reproductions of her face. And in this later series, uh, this later work, which uh, again, this is from 79, this is part of a series called Reversals. And for this series, Warhol resurrected many of the early sort of iconic images from his pop period, such as Marilyn, and presented them in reversal. So he inverted the colors. And here we had a presentation of the negative of Marilyn Monroe. And what's interesting about this is that this late body of work by Warhol has this sort of, uh, well, in this case, a rather ghost-like quality, but it uh, also sort of presents this mood of re retrospection. Uh, he was looking back on things in his work. A lot of the work feels very moody, and um, I think it's very befitting of uh, the end of such a great artist's career. Thank you for joining me for this. If you're interested in more content like this, we are uploading a lot of new things to our social media pages during the museum closure, so take a look for um, other similar videos.